Hello, I'm Evocable Object 4. Let's continue the Boogeyman. Oh, where was I going? Was upstairs. So this one's piano. Oh, piano's locked. Locked up, locked doors. And this was the guy. Yeah. Guess my wife will have to work now. Keith, you took your call? Yes. For once I answered my phone. It was for something stupid. Yeah. Sorry for for going back without you. I wanted to take a sh shower. Are you like cold or something? He doesn't seem that scary. Uh, uh, I'm going to bed now. Good night. Why were you crying? Sit down. I want to talk for a bit. I wanted to tell you this once we got back from this trip, but it's too hard for me. We're at a very important crossroads, a kind of D-Day. D-Day? For a decision, I guess, or divorce. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but I couldn't say it. You want a divorce? Do you hate me? No, that's not it. No, I couldn't hate you. It's not that. It's not you. It's a problem with me. Or it could be a problem with both of us. With you? I'm going to bed. We'll finish this conversation when we get home. Good night. I love you. I told you, if I can just get some juicy tidbits, sales will shoot up for you, my man. Sheesh, didn't I tell you? I can't take photos of people. You can keep your money if you want pics of that rude-ass detective. Oh, yeah, his, his girl's all right. Oh, yeah, she's a good one. Gotta wonder why she's with a snooze fest like him. Well, she's not gonna be for very long. <laughs> not a bad That's idea. Great. I'd love to see him keep his cool even when his girl's taken. Ugh. We're going to tour the island tomorrow, right? I can't wait. That's right, but you'd better get to bed soon so you can wake up tomorrow, yes? What are you saying, Papa? You've got to enjoy both days and nights on vacation, right? We should talk lots. Yeah, I guess that's kind of a good point, but... Ugh. It's important to get an early day, early start. Why, we already spoke with the others plenty today, and I'm sure they're all going to sleep now. Hmm, but I didn't talk to you much, Papa. Come on, let's talk. What are you guys going to talk about? <laughs> That's my selfish little girl. Hey, Papa, was Mama a good person? Did you and Mama get along like David and Shirley? Uh... Oh, absolutely. I've never met a person finer than your mother. You're starting to remind me of her yourself, though you'd need to be a bit more mature. So I can't be childish, huh? Now, Sophie, you can be whatever you want to be. 
No matter what, you're a precious family to me, a true treasure, and your mother as well, of course. <laughs> Got a text from Paul. Bring back souvenirs, you ass. What's wrong? Doesn't Helena remind you of your mother? Uh... Okay, let's... Maybe so. There's kind of that air about her now that you mention it. But what's this all of a sudden? Never mind, I just had a thought. I'm not gonna date her. She's already married. You don't look so good. Did something happen? I ate some bad fish. Well, I've never been on a trip like this before. I don't know how I should act. It's different from traveling with friends, isn't it? Hey, just enjoy yourself. You won't have any fun worrying over everything. We'll make some great memories. What about your memories with me? We could always use more. I wonder how many more we need. Uh, well, you keep on racking up memories until the day you die, so... <laughs> uh, not sure if you can control how many more you get. <laughs> Why don't we start now? Oh, look at the time. Better get to sleep. Uh, David is not a... A ladies' man, is he? Uh. Hey, what about making memories? <laughs> <laughs> hey, David! Stop it! I'm ticklish! <laughs> Give me a break. Like, that's gonna be a fond memory. It will be in, like... It'll be a fond memory in, like, a few months. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Enjoy yourself tomorrow. Night. Well, we know Keith's probably not gonna sleep. <laughs> or maybe he will. What in the world? I guess he changed his mind about going and sleeping. <sighs> Somebody put a stop to that asshole's calls. You have the wrong number. Oh wow, it's very dark in here. Where's my phone? Huh. Uh, figure out the lighter. I leave them in the bathroom. Ash. Wait, where's my wife? Helena. See, even he's saying Helena. It's is it Helena or Helena? I think it's Helena. We gotta call her Helena. That looks like it could go to somewhere. Even though it's probably gonna come from here. Um, well, let's go see if everyone else is. I don't know. There's a piece of paper slipped under the door. Attention! A wonderful show is about to begin. Please come to the reception. What was that? Um. Reception hall. 
Uh, it's not the same as the dining room. Oh. Uh. Uh, is this it? The bogey was here. So sorry to disturb your slumber, detective. Beat him up now! But you know it'd be a waste to sleep on such a wondrous night. Well, unless you want your audience, like, falling asleep during the performance. Ah, it really is a great set, don't you agree? No. All it needs is me standing on stage, and then perfection. Boo! Well, get up there, then. <laughs> what are you doing, Keith? How do you do, detective? I am... <clears throat> Excuse me. How do you do, detective? I am the Boogeyman, the organizer of this marvelous game soon to begin. Let's do this. <laughs> game. Yes, a very special game for the night of a very joyous trip. Oh, I hope I can do this oh, right. <laughs> pardon me. Um, let me consult my cheat sheet. Can I have that cheat sheet? It would, it would make this gun game funner. Would, now oh, let's so see much. here. You're the player and must chase the boogeyman. I thought the boogeyman usually chases children. If you catch him, you win. And that's the happy ending. Oh, that seems a little bit too simple. If you don't catch him, you lose. And what awful bad ending may await you then? So, what do you think of that? You look pretty fast, Mr. Detective, so you might catch me real quick. That'd be pretty boring now, wouldn't it? Wait, did your bag make a frowny face? How does it do that? <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Ooh, I know. How's this for an idea? How about I kill everyone but you, and you have to stop me? Well, if you already kill everyone, then I'm still just chasing you, man. I think you have to be more specific about the order. <laughs> yeah. Is this stupid prank part of the tour? How long it's not in a while, you know? No, no, it is Stupid? How dare? You'll see. Oh, you'll see. It'll be the best game you ever did see. Long as it fits my marriage. Let me guess. Are you nervous? Worry not. I've even prepared a tutorial for you. And now, we're about to have the opening cutscene. Oh, is there gonna be, like, some kind of awesome opening? Tell me, detective... Are you familiar with the Boogeyman? No, but the player controlling him is familiar with the Sandman and the Crooked Man. All the evil and sadness in this world can be blamed on the Boogie. He's always watching from inside your closet. The Boogeyman is the king of evil and terror. Meanwhile, you're a detective, ally to the weak citizens, and because it's you versus me, a simple game this may be, but it's also a battle of good and evil. Just because I'm a detective doesn't mean I'm perfect. Can't you choose, like... You know what? Maybe I am the best thing that could be for... Good. Whatever. <laughs> Such a holy battle needs a spectacular opening, yes? Oh, wait, why didn't you choose, like, a nurse or something? <laughs> Indeed, sacrificial blood must spill. Oh! Brendan. Oh! 
Um, Let him down. This joke is going too far. Joke? <laughs> what a laugh. I'm always deadly serious. I don't know Should if I can you say know from experience? People who do things to make you think the words they've got to be joking are usually very serious. And they're just messed up in here. Right then, detective. The blood of this homely boy should add some nice color to our game. Oh yes, this'll be quite a night. Oh! Yeehaw! Now the game begins, detective. Catch okay. me if you can, before more of that lovely blood stains the castle floors. Boy! You started off... I mean, you didn't even just have him fall to his death. You cut off his head and then had him fall to his death. Golly. The hole seems deep. Oh, well, here it goes. I'm pretty sure I couldn't prevent that one. Okay, that's locked. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Uh. You know what? Maybe I should have said. But too late. I already say it. I don't even know where to start. Never gave me a starting point. Okay. East and West Wing are still locked. Dead cook. There are bruises on the back of the head. Dead cook. The keyhole is clotted with something. And the door won't open. There's a note on the door. Did you already open that wet red light? Let's take that sucker. Got a court screw. Zoom the red lines in my mind. Risky. Uh, 
Uh. Oh, this is Lance. I didn't even check Lance's room. Uh. <laughs> These are all the rooms. Okay. Oh! I get it. <coughs> Broke open the lock with the corpse. Stevie, are you there? Turn on the lights. You can hear Stevie saying, turn on the lights. Light switch. Go on. Lights. Turn on. Breaker up. <laughs> Excuse me. Turn on the lights. Told you to hurry. Turn on the lights. Blades and arms are bound to the chair. Turn Large gash. Lights. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Repeat. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. That's the way, Stevie. You're a real great tour guide. Now keep repeating. You have to finish your job if you want to go back to your wife in Connecticut. And I'd like Turn on the lights. Oops, someone's eavesdropping on our conversation. Detective, you took your time, didn't you? Not really. Turn on the lights. You did this? Thought I told you I prepared a tutorial. Now you should have a real good grasp of the way this game goes. In short, you go too slow, the others end up like this, too. Stevie did such a good job, showed you just what you needed to do. Did you kill those servants too? Oh, they're just for show. Making it look good helped spice the game up. I'll let you off the hook there, since they kicked it while you were still snoozing away. So what do you think? Gotten you a little more motivated, detective? Or maybe I'm making you quiver in your boots. I think you're... I think my character's pretty chill. He's fine. Where'd you take the others? It'd be no fun in games if I told you that. It'd be fun for me. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot to get done. Good luck, detective, because for you, nothing could be a bigger disgrace than failing to save someone you could have, right? Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. It's cold.
It's all right. It'll get better soon. George is slightly dry. Slightly. Got a key. He's not breathing anymore. There's a large gap and traces of something injected into his blood. Told you to hurry. Okay. So I probably couldn't save him either. So I got a key. Which is most likely used for... Most likely used for the east or west windows. So let's try... Well, actually, it's a key. Second floor passage. Oh! I'm not gonna go to either of the hallways. Let's get a code up here. Choice. <sighs> that goes to one of these. Severed hands. There's something in his mouth. They do nothing first because you want to save. Something in his mouth. Take what's inside. It's another key. Is <laughs> Small water gun. Ah, oh, you. Yeah. Oh. Got a video tape. Yeah, you're very clever. High five. I see you. I'm gonna have to use these at some point. Uh, obviously, I don't need them now. I hope it's not like Miss Sal, where make sure you get yourself cleaned or. Grab a paper. Well, detective, have the lambs stopped screaming? Get the lambs as far away from the big bad predator. Keep them safe behind your back. So you want them away from the predator, keep them safe behind you. I have no way of moving right now. So, 
Get the lambs as far away from the big bad predator as you can. Keep them safe behind your back. So, the only thing that I can think of is that you should move the eagle to probably right there. Oh, that's convenient. Okay. Yeah. Boy, boy. There's a note on the wall. Control panel for pull down stairs to the fourth. Oh. Um, <clears throat> and two, one, six, five, three, seven, oh. Okay. Bathroom, that doesn't really matter. Um, dead servant. Take care of this real quick. Alright. So, two, one. Oh, it does, only goes up to seven anyway. Okay, zero. Blech. Scrap a paper. Boogie gets you in a super... You get high on Boogie. Ah. That's... Burning. Okay, high on Boogie. Ugh, Kelly. Servants. Ah. Uh. Am I looking for something? I'll not be unlucky, fish. I need to look for a place that I can maybe watch videos. Thank you, I'm forgetting about that. Um, let's see. Okay. There's all kind of recording device. Go back to what I was doing. Okay. I did this room. That's done. Okay. I didn't check out everything. There's a big door, but it's locked. 
I haven't. So I got that. That's the control panel. Get high on. Use the rich. Scrap a paper. Boogie gets you into super trance. Get high on boogie. Tony, I'll look at this video. Oh! I don't know if that's yeah. I'll probably just have to wait. Okay, so. This seems like a good enough place to end. We've looked at about all that we can. For now, so I'll see you guys. Oh wait, what am I doing? As a gem in its eye, might be able to use the wrench to get out the gem. Oh no. Okay, it was worth a shot. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.